According to scientists, the world is getting hotter and hotter, and it's only a matter of time before deadly heat waves become a common occurrence. Yep, when the heat rises, it becomes almost impossible to get anything done, and we head indoors for the sweet relief of AC and shade from the blazing sun. But what about those places in the world where extremely hot weather is an everyday fact of life, and temperatures soar off the charts? From a heat wave so scorching that you need oven gloves to touch your steering wheel, to a desert where it literally is never ever rained. These are the 15 hottest temperatures ever recorded on Earth. We're standing on the edge of the Darvaza Crater in Turkmenistan, a place that people say think is very dangerous. Thousand seventeen Arizona heat wave. Back in 2017, the U.S. state of Arizona faced a heat wave that melted practically everything in sight. No, really. Trash cans and mailboxes were slowly oozing into the sidewalk like some kind of messed up dolly painting coming to life, and even the paint on the street signs was melting off. People's dashboards started to melt under the insane glare of the sun through their windscreens, and steering wheels became so hot that they could cause third-degree burns when touched. Cue a whole bunch of people wearing oven mitts just to drive to work and stores covering their door handles to avoid any nasty burns. At its peak, this outrageous heat wave reached a shocking 48 degrees Celsius in the city of Phoenix, causing at least 15 wildfires to break out. 131 degrees! The extreme heat affected animals too, with desert scorpions heading towards people's backyards to cool down in their swimming pools, and animals at the zoo sucking on blood sickles to beat the heat with some frozen meat. The good news is, the heat wave passed, but the bad news is that scientists say climate change is likely to cause more mega heat waves like this in the future. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? August 16th, 2020, the highest temperature ever recorded. So, what was the hottest temperature ever recorded? Well, just try and imagine what a scorching 54.4 degrees Celsius, 130 degrees Fahrenheit might feel like. We're sweating just thinking about it. Death Valley National Park in California is the location that this record-breaking temperature was recorded on the 16th of August in 2020. Yup, as if 2020 wasn't crazy enough, scientists are now working to verify this sweltering temperature and officially declare it the highest temperature ever recorded on Earth. Death Valley is a famous sun trap, and the previous record was set right here, in a barren desert that sees less than 2 inches of rainfall on average every year. At 282 feet below sea level and surrounded by mountain ranges, heat is trapped in the valley, leading to extreme temperatures that are only seen in a handful of places across the globe. People who have visited Death Valley have described it as like walking into an oven and being blasted in the face by hair dryers. What's even scarier is that the recorded 54.4 degrees Celsius is rather unusual so late into the summer, with the sun much lower in the sky during August. Remember all those times you wished that summer would never end? Yeah, looks like it might finally be happening. The downside of the endless summer, however, is widespread blackouts in California, as well as deadly fire NATOs sweeping over the state. So be careful what you wish for. Mm -hmm. Orgla, Africa's hottest temperature ever? While we're on the topic of breaking records, it might be worth mentioning that the business of recording temperatures is very, well, temperamental. Yep, many experts claim that some extreme readings just aren't reliable enough, leaving a massive question mark hanging over many world records. For example, a reading of 57.1 degrees Celsius was reported in Orgla, Algeria back in August of 1884. However, scientists dismissed the claim, saying that such a hot temperature couldn't have even been physically possible at an altitude of 2,000 feet above sea level. So what causes these dodgy readings? Well, sometimes it's all down to unreliable equipment. Over in Scotland, in the UK, the highest temperature ever recorded in the country turned out to be polluted by a nearby vehicle blasting its exhaust pipe near the sensor. Oops! And in this case, some people suspect that an airport runway might be causing similar issues with the readings. 
Still, the latest records coming out of this city that's home to about 190,000 people brought the highest record temperature in Africa to a staggering 51.3 degrees Celsius in July of 2018. Experts claim that this time it was reliably measured, but who actually knows what's real and what's not when it comes to extreme temperatures? We just have to take their word for it. 2015 Pakistan Heat Wave Back in June of 2015, Pakistan saw temperatures as high as 49 degrees Celsius, causing the government to declare a state of emergency. Yup, this killer heat wave brought the hottest weather in over a decade, and people were not prepared for the dangers that came along with it. Heat stroke, dehydration, and exhaustion hit Pakistan hard, especially during the holy month of Ramadan, when the predominantly Muslim country was abstaining from food and water from sunrise to sundown. Alongside the fasting, power blackouts struck cities such as Karachi, when the electricity grid struggled to keep up with the demand of 20 million people trying to survive the heat wave. Soon enough, the hospitals became completely overwhelmed with heat stroke patients, and the army even had to be called out to control the complete chaos. Thousands of people lost their lives during this deadly heat wave. If you've never experienced extreme temperatures like 49 degrees Celsius, it's hard to even imagine what it must feel like. But it's safe to say, all you can really do is stay inside, stay hydrated, and try to take it easy. <laughs> Sulabia, home of the world's largest tire graveyard. Kuwait, located in the Middle East, is one of the hottest countries in the world. In the Matriba region, the thermometer soared to 51.4 degrees, and for a brief period, it was the hottest place on the entire planet. Yeah, there's no doubt about it, Kuwait is hot, and with temperatures like this, extra special measures have been taken. During the summer, the working day is thrown out the window, with people working 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. shifts through the evening when it's cooler. Even driving can be a problem, and people go through rubber car tires at rapid speeds on the scorching hot roads. Reports of an enormous tire graveyard that could be seen from space even hit the headlines worldwide after photos taken in Sulabia reached the press. The giant graveyard is 100 acres wide and filled with as many as 7 million tires from all over Kuwait and exported from other countries. There's tires as far as the eye can see. Landfills as large as this one are banned in many other countries, and perhaps for a good reason. A raging inferno when one tire graveyard in Kuwait burned for so long that it reportedly melted as many as 5 million tires in one go. There's no doubt about it, Kuwait is absolutely scorching. <laughs> the warmest sea. Swimming in the sea in many countries is usually a chilly affair. However, it's a different story when it comes to the waters of the Arabian Gulf. With average temperatures of a red-hot 33 degrees during the summer and a warm 21 degrees in the winter, there's no need to pack your wetsuit. It's basically like stepping into a warm bath. As the gulf is relatively shallow, it absorbs a lot more heat compared to other oceans, and with scorching temperatures all year round in places like Dubai and Abu Dhabi, you can pretty much be sure that the beach will always be full of sunbathers. However, with experts predicting that the world's oceans are heating up faster than we originally thought, super warm seas in the Arabian Gulf might be in danger of becoming too hot to handle. Yet many problems could complicate life in the Gulf Sea, including increased levels of salt as heat causes accelerated evaporation and low water oxygen levels. Bacteria in the water may use up valuable oxygen, causing marine wildlife to struggle to survive. Experts say that this could happen in the next 30 years if something isn't done soon. When it comes to climate change, we're literally finding ourselves in hot water. Dominica's Boiling Lake In Mont Trapiton National Park, Dominica, there is a volcanic hydrothermal lake that bubbles and boils away. Yep, this red-hot lake is a whopping four-hour trek from the nearest village, but it's still a surprisingly popular hike for tourists. Masked by a cloud of steam, the 200-foot-wide caldera is usually skin-peelingly hot, so you definitely wouldn't want to get too close to the edge. However, every so often, the water inside the volcano drastically cools. We know what you're thinking, surely no one would be crazy enough to actually try and swim in Dominica's boiling lake. 
Well, believe it or not, tourists will do just about anything for the perfect selfie and many have been found taking a dip in the not so boiling lake. Look, just because the second largest boiling lake in the world is taking a day off doesn't mean that it's not still deadly. The volcano could switch back on again with no warning, releasing scalding hot steam and poisonous gases into the air around you. It's even claimed the lives of a couple of unsuspecting tourists. We feel like it should really go without saying, but beware of the boiling lake. Iran one of the most sweltering countries on the planet has to be Iran. Its hot, dry climate has long summers and short winters, and is smack down in the middle of the arid Arabian desert and humid Mediterranean region. It's this unique geographical location that causes it to heat up to record-breaking temperatures. It's even been known to be surrounded by domes of heat, a strange weather phenomenon that causes oppressive temperatures in the region. Hmm, a dome of heat? Sounds a bit like living inside a pot of boiling water, and with temperatures like 73 degrees Celsius, they're not far off boiling at all. In Bandar Mashahar, home to 100,000 people, the heat index rose to an alarming temperature. The heat index is the feel safe temperature you always hear on the weather report and takes into account the air temp with humidity, resulting in the temperature that it actually feels like outside. The highest ever recorded heat index was a whopping 81 degrees Celsius in Saudi Arabia in July of 2003. Whoa, someone turn up the AC. <laughs> Bangkok, the most consistently hot city. There's only two types of weather in Bangkok, Thailand, hot and dry or hot and wet. No matter what, this Southeast Asian city is famous for being hot all year round and the World Meteorological Organization have even named Bangkok the hottest city on the planet thanks to its consistently high temperatures. With a mean annual temperature of 29 degrees Celsius, the bustling metropolis may not be breaking any daily records, but you can pretty much guarantee warm weather every day. The hottest temperature ever recorded in Bangkok was a roasting 39 degrees, but anyone who's ever lived in a busy city will know that it always feels a lot hotter than it actually is. Their warmest month is in April, coinciding with the Taiwanese New Year. During this time, a huge water festival takes place in the city, with crowds of people taking to the street with water pistols for a water fight of epic proportions. That's certainly one way to beat the heat. Timbuktu This remote desert city was once best known for being the definition of the middle of nowhere, but did you know that it's actually one of the hottest places in the world? Yup, Timbuktu has seen mind-blowing temperatures of 54.5 degrees Celsius and daily temperatures regularly exceeding 40 degrees during the summer months of April, May and June. Sitting on the edge of the Sahara Desert, Timbuktu has a population of 40,000 people, all trying to beat the heat on sandy streets. In fact, this old African city is being slowly reclaimed by the desert, so don't forget to pack your sunscreen. Dalo, Ethiopia With volcanoes with lakes of lava and average temperatures of 34 degrees, Ethiopia's Danakil Depression is one of the most unforgiving environments on the planet. Not much survives here in the hottest, driest, and lowest place on Earth, and the Danakil Depression only receives about 200 millimeters of rainfall each year. Combined with the fact that it's 410 feet below sea level, and you're looking at a seriously scorching desert environment. Although this may seem like a literal hell on earth, people actually make a living here, and the Afar people are still traveling to the area on camels in order to collect valuable salt. Paleontologists even call this place the Cradle of Humanity, as this is the spot where they found the iconic Lucy fossil, believed to be the oldest ever ancient human. In the nearby ghost town of Dolo, scientists have recorded an average annual temperature of 35 degrees, earning it the title of highest average temperature for an inhabited location. We're just not sure how many people live in this deserted mining town. We're gonna guess not many. Darvaza Gas Crater Located in Turkmenistan, this poisonous well-off gas was first discovered by Soviet engineers back in the 1970s. Scared that the toxic fumes would harm the local people, scientists made the very questionable decision of setting fire to the well, so that the gases would hopefully burn off quickly. 
As you can imagine, things didn't go quite to plan, and instead this cavernous gas crater transformed into a literal gate to hell. Okay, well, not literal, but you know what we mean. That fire is still blazing 50 years later. With a diameter of 230 feet and a depth of 66 feet, you would seriously hope that people stay well away from this terrifying pit. Nope. In fact, Turkmenistan authorities have hyped up the Darvaza gas crater as an exciting tourist attraction. We think we'll stick to theme parks and botanical gardens. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mecca, massive temperatures and massive crowds. Over 1.5 million people live here, and every year, 2 million more people make a pilgrimage to this holy city. Mecca may be one of the holiest cities in the world, but it's also the hottest in the world. That's right, Mecca, home to the world's largest mosque, and the famous Kaaba is the warmest city on earth. Reaching an average annual temperature of 30.7 degrees, in summer it gets a whole lot hotter, with the thermometer often soaring to a sweaty 50 degrees. It's so hot in Mecca that the millions of pilgrims performing the Hajj have to carry umbrellas to try and shelter from the blinding sun and drink water constantly to stay hydrated. Located in the Sirat Mountains, 900 feet above sea level, this city is like no other city you've ever been to. Luckily, the hotels are constantly cranking up the AC, exactly what you need after a long day of walking in the heat. Arika Situated close to the Atacama Desert, Arica is possibly the driest place on Earth. Cut off from moisture by mountains on both sides, this Chilean town has the least recorded rainfall on Earth, so you never need to worry about carrying an umbrella. In fact, the Atacama Desert is so dry that in some parts there's no life at all. This vast desert stretches over 100,000 square miles, and experts believe that certain parts have never received any rain. like. Ever. If you suffer from ombrophobia, the fear of rain, then Africa just might be your dream vacation destination. Africa's Great Green Wall So with temperatures across the world soaring and scientists predicting that they'll get even hotter, what can we do? Well, Africa is working on an awesome new solution. Communities in the most consistently hottest parts of the world, the Saharan Desert, have started a positive initiative to combat the heat and devastation of the desert region. It's called the Great Green Wall, and over 20 countries have gathered together to try and change Africa forever by planting trees in dry, lifeless areas. This ambitious project originally wanted to plant a line of trees along the desert border from east to west, but today, they have their sights on a much bigger goal. By the time the 8,000 kilometer long wall of trees is complete, it will be the largest living structure on Earth and three times the size of the Great Barrier Reef. Yep, we're talking about a real life man-made natural wonder. Stretching from Senegal to the Atlantic, all the way to the Red Sea, millions of trees have already been planted and there's plenty more to go. Hopefully, the Great Green Wall will help to increase rainfall and boost fertility for crops all across its borders. How amazing is that? Maybe there is hope for our planet after all. So which one of these searingly hot destinations would you take a trip to? We like hot weather, but these places are just ridiculous. As always, you can let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. You can also hit subscribe for more awesome Missing Files content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.